The biggest mistake I made in my business was not hiring a professional to help me with my money. Not just my taxes, but the actual plan I had for my business. I was completely lost on how to handle taxes, what to do with profit, and how to maintain my income. I had to find a better way. That's when I found Core Financial. Core Financial is a team of tax professionals that actually care about building real relationships with their clients. They run my books, keep me up to date with my finances, and make sure I'm taking full advantage of all of my tax benefits. Are you struggling with your finances? Look no further. Core Financial is a brand that is nationwide that can help you with your business. Both Nick and I are huge fans of Core and they can help you too. Check out howtofilmweddings.com slash core to schedule a consultation today. Core Financial, real relationships, no surprises. Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is John Bunn. It is. I'm joined by Nick Miller. That is your you name, Nick. It today, is. Today we had a lot of fun. And we a had a really day. great fun episode. Day. Our friends Felicia and Maddie from iHeart Creative, they're based in Santa Barbara, California. They're in our mastermind group. They did a mentor session with us a few months back. Guys, these, these two ladies are killing it. They know exactly who they are. They know their true colors, if you will. I know, I know, uh, hear me out. But we talk all about their rebrand that they just did, knowing who you are so you can serve your ideal clients better. And honestly, we had a lot of fun. And Nick, you can tell them just a brief, uh, we had a, a fun little conversation, a random tangent. We did have a fun, a fun conversation. We spoke with a showcase winner of The Price is Right today, you guys. The Royalty. showcase showdown. It's amazing. John, let's go ahead and jump into this week's episode of the How to Film Weddings podcast with Felicia and Maddie from iHeart Creative. Let's go. Okay, we are joined with Maddie and Felicia from iHeart Creative. Girls, how are you doing today? Fantastic. <laughs> so good, so good. So why don't you guys uh, take, a, take a minute to introduce yourselves and, and share a little bit about you. I am Felicia. And I am Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been doing this for almost 12 years now, photo and video. We're best friends and business partners. We like to say we're friends first, and we take that part of our relationship really seriously. And we just happen to wake up and get to do what we love every day with each other. Super great. And they are, they are so serious about the things that they do. They are, they are all, <laughs> all business. Introverted as well. Very introverted. <laughs> Very muted. <laughs> So yes. <laughs> no, well, I'm I'm pumped that you guys are on the podcast. You guys live in what I think is maybe the best place on earth. Maybe talk about where you're located. Um, I know you've been shooting a little while, but kind of talk to the what your business is, where you try to focus, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're located in Santa Barbara. We've been here throughout our entire career, basically, and we travel around from time to time. But we're mostly here. Probably like ninety percent of our weddings are here. Yeah. We started right after graduating from college. Um, we worked at a local studio together, and about a year in, we decided we didn't want someone else to get paid for the work we were doing because we did it so well together. So we branched out, and I Heart My Groom was born. And about 10 years after that, we rebranded and became Our Heart Creative. Yeah. I love it. And so you're in Santa Barbara, California. I've been there. I actually have been there lots of times filming weddings. I did a vow renewal at my 10 year anniversary. I love Santa Barbara oh, and I cool. love, uh, love that area. The lighting is incredible. It's not fair. The weather is perfect. Mountains meet ocean. I can't, I mean, what do you, what else do you want? And so, um, <laughs> Nick and I came across you guys, you did a mentorship session with us probably two months ago, maybe something three months mm -hmm. ago. And I like, I went to your website to check who you guys were. And I was just like, uh, they need to be doing a mentor session for us. Like, what are they? And like their, their main thing that they wanted to learn was we just want to hang out. That was what they wanted to do. And I was like, they're so, they're so cool. Like it, it was so fun. And like it, it pushed me creatively, but like looking through your website, looking through just your whole brand, I was just like, whoa, these people know exactly who they are. 
what they stand for and why they stand for it. And so um, you've since joined our mastermind group. We've seen you in there. And just um, I, as I was talking to Nick about different guests we should have on, I was like, we should see if Felicia and Maddie should come, w- would want to come on because we've been talking a lot about branding and doing different things in mastermind, but we also want to talk about it to the How to Film Weddings podcast group because it's so very important. So um, with that, um, you guys have quite a colorful brand, um, I would say, if if anyone clicks on the show notes and sees, you know, your website. But why don't you explain kind of what is your brand? What would you say your brand is? I would say we're loud. <laughs> <laughs> I, yep. I think we want to come off as friends first, um, even to our clients and not just you're not just hiring a wedding photographer or a videographer. We want you to look at our stuff and we want you to see a friend there who will be your champion on your wedding day, who will be there to sew pants or tie bow ties or fix a whipped ripped dress. That's all Maddie. That I do all of those. She's things. so crafty. <laughs> I call her MacGyver. <laughs> so it's like we want you to know that we're there for you and not just to document, but if you need something, we're there as a friend. And I think to kind of get out the message that we're, we're really there to like connect with you and dig deep and like really tell your story and like become really good friends. Because that's how I feel like we've, over the years, like we've figured out that that's really like why we love what we do if we connect with our clients. So, yeah. So... Yeah, yeah, I, I love it too. Like if you go, you go to their website, you're, you know, the, this video plays and it's very like loud and upbeat, energetic music, but then the color palette is just, in. you get a very good idea of who Maddie and Felicia are just by like opening their website and, and you see like there's some businesses you're out there like, okay, is, I, I could see this being a uh, wedding videographer, but in the famous words of Christine Rome, or this could be a plumber's website. Like, I don't know what it is, you know, but you guys, you know, exactly what, what, who you're reaching out to. And I'm sure that you're, um, as you've, you know, continue to be in business and you've have this website that is very true to you guys, how, how have you seen that, um, with the the clients that you're are actually reaching out to you, like, do you find a lot of people reach out to you and you're just like, you get, Ooh, like, how did you find me? You're you're not who I want to work with, or is most everybody like, yep, we're good. Like, I want to work with you. How how since you've updated your website and stuff, how would you say that that the clients finding you are? We used to get those inquiries all the time where we'd have to dig deep to figure out if they were the right client for us, but since we did the rebrand like a year yeah almost a year ago. yeah a year ago we started our rebrand a year ago um we've been getting more inquiries that are so much more aligned with what we want to do and who we want to connect with like it's actually I, I mean I knew that would happen but I didn't realize like the depth of it like we don't have to waste time like talking to people on the phone that might not be our clients and we can spend more time like getting these people that like are seeking us and and it was really scary too when we did the rebrand because it's so pink (laughs) well it's it's just really loud and it's really us and if you're gonna put something out there like that it's kind of scary because you're like okay we know once this goes live we're gonna be sending a lot of people away right like we're gonna be Mm -hmm. that's a terrifying terrifying part of rebranding is that like all right, now we're really putting out who we are. What if, what if, what if we don't get inquiries anymore because it's so loud or you lose somebody because it's so pink where they don't actually look at the work. Um, but the rebrand sets well, us apart from everybody else pretty mm-hmm. much. You've been getting some really good inquiries and it's so exciting. It's like starting to show right now, now that like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I immediately went it. to their site and was just like, I know, I know so much about these two. I feel connected to these two. Like, I know what they stand for. They're fun and like energetic and loud in a good sense of the word loud. Um, it's like uh, everything that I needed to know, I, I felt immediately. And, you know, we were doing a, a mentor session earlier today and we're, we're walking through a website and it, it felt very... Um, you know, cold and it felt like it needed a lot of, like, you couldn't tell who it was that was shooting. You couldn't like it, it, it just needed that. And I, I immediately thought of your all's website and was just thinking through like, okay, how, if I am a wedding filmmaker, 
do I infuse that much of my personality into my site? How do I stand out? You said you've been doing this for a, a minute, um, like your company. <laughs> when did you decide, okay, like what did it look like before your rebrand? Like what, what did you, you, what did it feel like when people came to your site? And then what was the process like? What did you do to change? Did you hire somebody? Like what was that whole process? So for the longest time, Maddie was building our website and are making our logos. She's really good at it, but oh, like crafty. she would get to a point where she would make a logo. <laughs> She's very crafty. She'd get to a point where she'd make a logo and she would hate it 10 minutes later, but we would just use it. And another year later, we would change it and we would change they it. They were never bad, no, but, but when you're that connected to something, <laughs> it's hard to disconnect and just let it be your logo. Like I, it's like taking a photo. I'm primarily the photographer on a photo video day. So it's like taking a photo where everybody else loves it, but you see all the, the little minute things. And that's how I felt with our logo or our website. So hiring someone, it's like you pay so much money for a camera, but you won't buy a website from an de actual designer. So mm -hmm. investing in ourselves and contracts and all those things was really important to us. And when we, so we hired, um, Jordan from Studio Nine Co. Um, and she then kind of sent us like the web developers that she works with. So we um, we decided to go with me to Thrive. And when we sat down with her on the phone, she said, you know, I'm going to send you a questionnaire, fill it out, and then we'll get started on like your mood board and stuff. And I, I mean, I don't know about you, but like when we first started this, I was like, oh, we're going to get a sick logo. We're going to get a cool <laughs> website. And then she sent us this questionnaire and I think it took us like three or four hours just to like think about <laughs> and then to have to fill out and rework. And we were like, we were, Who answering, are we? we were answering questions <laughs> that we didn't even know the answers to. Like identity crisis. Yeah, We went seriously. through like a little midlife crisis. Like, what are we doing? But, but it, it was really helpful. It was helpful, and it really targeted who we wanted to become. Like, we had a template website that was very basic, and a lot of photographers and videographers in our industry had this template website. So after a certain point, it was like you would go and click on a link, and it would be your website with other images. And we didn't want that. We wanted you to click on our website and to see us. And Jordan did a great job yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we were, uh, go ahead. Uh, we were, I think when we were doing that questionnaire process, we actually had a wedding in New York and it was um, Allie and Erica. And she sent us back the first mood design board. Um, with our mock-up logos. Yeah. And it was I Heart My, very small, and Groom was massive. So that was our original name, so I Heart My Groom. Just... After coming back from a same-sex wedding and then having groom be so massive and so loud on this logo, it didn't feel right. It felt like we were disconnected from everyone we were trying to serve, so we decided to drop my groom. She came up with a really good line this morning. We were talking about everything, and she's like, we're like, a, we're like an all-inclusive resort. <laughs> <laughs> we want to include everybody. Yeah. So all types of love. <laughs> all types of love. So we dropped the groom, and that's kind of how we came to the conclusion of I heart but yeah did that I don't we trailed there <laughs> no I it, it it was all it was all really good stuff um Felicia something you two said a little bit ago was like how your website is like really like speaks to people as they're um you know as they come to it and stuff and this this is something you know I, I was a youth pastor before you know um you know I got into wedding video stuff full time and you know one of the things when I was at grad school this quote from some, I don't know, monk or something like a hundred years, a hundred years, a thousand years ago, a long time ago, he said this, this thing, it was always preach the gospel when necessary use words. Okay. And so while I'm not trying to get like all churchy and preachy, but I Thanks, think brother. that if, but, but if we take that philosophy, right. And mm -hmm. apply it to our businesses, like always preach the message of your business, whatever is, whatever that is, and then whenever it's necessary, use words like your website should say something about who you are. Your films should say something about who you are. The pictures that you post, the things that you write, you know, and, and it might not necessarily like be, um, you know, uh, I'm trying, I'm kind of losing it here a little bit, but that idea of always, <laughs> but have, have this, this message that you want to share without like, 
you know, for instance, your website's pink, and I know we keep coming back to that, but you guys in these like <laughs> we're loud and we're fun. Like that, y- your website says that without saying in big bold letters, we're loud and we're fun, you know? And so if, if all of us can figure out those things in our business that are the core of what we do, and we can always speak those things by the stuff that we put out, that's going to speak volumes about who you are as a business and what you do. You know, um, you, you know, it's, it's what, what you do matters more than what you say. And so, you know, if you're, doing all the stuff. I, I feel like I'm rambling now. Like, I feel like I had my moment <laughs> I and I lost it. I, I know. I know. I'm with you on that. Yeah. I agree cool. with you, Nick. No. And here's the thing, like, sweet. So whenever we first, you, you guys reached out to us, like we did go to your, and it's more, about, it's more than just your website. Like what Nick is saying, you know, it is your entire brand and this experience. And it's fun to watch just in the few months that we've known you hear you say things like, Oh, it's so fun to get these ideal people reaching out to us that we just love. And like, when you go to your website, just the way that you word things, you know, it's like double the, the coffee and double the love or like, just cause it's the two of you. And it's like a great photo of the two of you. And like <clears throat> understanding who you are and who your true colors are. Like w- one of the people in our mastermind a couple weeks back had asked, like, I'm a little afraid to really lean into me because I'm a little weird and I don't want like a moon on my logo. And she also lives in Oklahoma. And my response was like, if I could go back to the beginning of my business and, and know like how important it is to lean into, you mm-hmm. know, you, who you are and who you were meant to be in serving those ideal couples, like you're taking away from somebody else who is the ideal filmmaker for that couple. If you're just taking everyone and if you don't know who it is that you're trying to reach and answering those questionnaires and answering those things of like, how do I, like, who do I care about? Who do I want to film their wedding? I like, the intentionality behind it there's it's like turning the titanic around a little bit it takes a while but it's like now you're getting on this other side of this two-year process that you guys have been in to <clears throat> like rebrand your entire like and it it is so you like the more I, like you are your brand and you've set yourself up as these personalities that are your brand and like going through that process and now being on the other side of it I guess where I'm going with this and I'm not rambling like Nick was, I don't, is, is <laughs> if, you were giving, if you were giving yourself advice for three years ago about rebranding and really focusing on branding, what advice would you be giving yourself? It's worth it. And you need to lean into it. Like you'll end up liking your job even more than it, you might already. Just because. Yeah. It's so much to, to fill out those questionnaires and to really figure out who your ideal person is. But at the same time, like doing the work without going to somebody else's website is hugely important. Like my why is different from your why it's different Mm -hmm. from everyone else's why. So why are you going to someone else's website to find their why? And like even during the homework for mastermind this week, I went to both of your websites, but why did I do that? I'm not either one of you. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's it like really <laughs> homework scares me. So like <laughs> and we just did a rebrand, but every year you should re go through who your ideal people are because they will change mm-hmm. and your outlook on on who you are as a brand will change and you'll, it'll grow. You'll refine more of what you want to. Your why will be peeled back each time you do it. So doing it often, at least once a year, if not twice a year finding those people that are your why and your reason for doing this and what success is like boiling all of that down a couple times a year is, is great for your brand. Felicia, do you have anything to add? (laughs) No, that was great. (laughs) Good, good answer. (laughs) Uh, So, so John does this thing where, he like wants me to take over and he actually wrote oh, a yeah. note. So I knew, I knew I was going to take over, but you know, he's like <laughs> just being quiet, seeing what I'll say. And I often don't told, say the right thing. I, and maybe this is wrong. I've been told I talk a lot. So I'm working on myself as I rebrand myself to just Chatty leave, Kathy room, leave room for, you know, other co-hosts of this show to, to talk more. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, you know, 150 episodes in, I think we found our groove a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Felicia and Matt, <laughs> we are having such a good time talking with you. We're going to go ahead and jump into a break real quick. And when we come back, we'll talk about more good stuff. What would you take on if you had an extra set of hands? What would you do with your free time if you didn't have to edit? So many of us get bogged down in the post-production hustle that we never seem time to focus on our business. John and I both felt that way until we found Weditor. Weditor is a post-production team of top wedding film editors and project managers that give your films and brand the extra eyes, ears, and hands that they need. Not only is Weditor delivering films we love to our couples faster, but we can invest ourselves fully in other areas of our business knowing that Weditor has our back. Be the first to know how your second shooters are doing, how those new LUTs work with your footage, and relax knowing your couples are getting the full attention they deserve on every single project. So what could you do with an extra hand? Head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash weditor, whether you're ready to start now or preparing for next season. Be sure to use promo code HTFW for $50 off your first project. If you're interested in this service, make sure you head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash weditor soon. Fall 2020 spots are lined up and filling up fast. Weditor, more than freelance, more than outsourcing. Finding the perfect song for your wedding film can be so frustrating. We spend countless hours searching for the perfect song. When it comes to licensing music, Nick and I both love Musicbed. Not only do they have the best music, but their website makes it so easy to find the perfect song and to find it fast. We have both been using the Musicbed's wedding subscription for years and cannot recommend it enough. Not only are they adding new music from incredible musicians like Chapters, The Light, The Heat, and Tony Anderson all the time, they have made it incredibly easy to search their library for mood, genre, instrumentation, and even key. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed and use promo code HTFW for a free month of a Musicbed wedding subscription. howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed. All right, we are back from break with Felicia and Maddie of iHeart Creative, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into our question of the day presented by Weditor. Weditor, more than freelance, more than outsourcing. And my question is this, have any, have either of you been on television, maybe, maybe a game show, and like won the whole thing? Like, I know this yes. is just a random question. I, I don't know where this I came is, up with This it. might be the so best random. question of the day ever. So random. Yeah, the answer is, of, of course, Affirmative. Yes. yes. <laughs> please tell. Okay, can yeah. you please expound? <clears throat> so I grew up, we both grew up watching The Price is Right. With our grandmas. With our grandmas. and Grandma Frances. And one day we just got this idea. We said, we, why, aren't, why haven't we gone to The Price is Right yet? Let's do this. So we <laughs> got a crew of people, close friends. Bought some shirts. Bought some shirts, spray painted <laughs> them. <laughs> She came up with design, really sweet design. We spray painted all the shirts, rolled down to LA, and uh, and you do like an interview process. And in the interview process, I think they were able to make fun of me, or yeah. in a way, like I said something, and they were were able to make a joke about it. And I think that's and she I, handled it well. I think that's how I got picked. So I got picked. And then I ended up winning a boat on the showcase. <laughs> okay, so first thing that she I think you just She won so spoiled. much more than a boat. I, I did win so much more. Tell me more. So the Price is Right <laughs> is rigged. <clears throat> no. In it's the not sense, rigged. in the sense that you have this whole room full of people, but they already know like the six or 12 yes. people that they're calling down. Correct. So I can't just show up there and be like, I'm going to be on. They have to pick you. Okay. She manifested this. Oh, because we were doing the, we were spray painting the t-shirts and I was like, one of us is going to win a boat. No, Just you watch. didn't say one of us. You said, I'm going to win a boat. <laughs> and it was like a lot of times. And I was convinced and she was going to win a boat. Honestly, I was just joking around. I was like, this isn't going to happen, but wouldn't it be fun? And <laughs> I mean, and there it was, the boat. Like, I like. It was such a good day, you guys. <laughs> number one, do you have a link that we can post to this by any chance yes, to this episode? I, do. I need that. And <laughs> number course. two, you said you won more than a boat. I need to know what else you won real fast. And then we can Oh this is yeah, this is important stuff. We need yeah, this to um, happen on our podcast. I wanna know. <laughs> I have to know. Uh, a Wii, a refrigerator, an exercise bike, kitchen appliances, a huge couch and a love two love seats and a TV. You think you already said TV? Coffee table? And a boat? 
and a Coffee boat. Table. Do you, you still, still have, have boat? your boat? <sighs> no. Guys, it's a it's sore, a sore subject. subject. Okay, we don't <laughs> so... want to talk about that. Moving on. Okay. If you want to know the whole story, <laughs> if you want to know the whole story, be sure to head to the show notes. We hopefully will have a link there if we don't forget by the time this goes live to put that in the link, <laughs> which we've been known to do, and we're sorry. So we are talking here with Maddie and Felicia from iHeart. Is Creative. that on your website? Like, is that like, yeah. whenever Felicia, yeah, Felicia, whenever it talks it's about you, you, does it say, I won the price is right? No, I She's like to not- use it as a fun fact. Like if you're having a conversation with people randomly and just, that that's is my a, fun fact. That like is, what's your you fun fact? Always, you can always one up. Tiger Woods stepped on my foot once. That's, that's <gasps> all I got. That's pretty that good. That is sick. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, whatever. But I, I can't up the one up winning the showcase showdown. Was it Bob Barker or was it? No. It's Drew Carey. It's Drew Carey. Okay. okay, I could one up you if I would have won with Bob Barker. Anyway, <laughs> so here we are with the two of you. You're full of personality. You know who you are. We're talking about your true selves, your true colors, if you will. I hear the song in my head. Um, you're in Santa Barbara. You've got this ideal clientele. How are you connecting with these people? Like you, like what does that mean to you to connect with your clients, to connect with the right people? When do you know that these are the right people? How do you connect with them? Well, we um, kind of make them do an engagement session with us. <laughs> we we kind of it's basically mandatory. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a non-mandatory um, mandatory activity. Yeah. Um, That's so one of the ways you can't get out of an engagement session with us you can forego us taking photo or video but you have to either have drinks with us or coffee with us because i don't want to show up on your wedding day and be like who's the bride walk around and like not know what you look like or not have any sort of like interaction with you it takes the friend element out of it when you show up and you meet the person at the same time um so having that that connection from the get-go small gifts throughout the whole planning process and they're not huge but you know, as something as small as a bag of confetti and a note, like that's, which makes sense for us to send a bag of confetti. Um, Do people ever get mad at you for sending confetti? Like they, oh, here's this bag and they open it and then it spills all over the place and they're like, man, now I have to vacuum it up. Can you really be that mad though? I don't know. If you're mad, then you're not our people. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yes. And so before you send them the confetti, they, you need to know that they're your people. How are oh, you figuring like in them the out? How are you? How do you know? Like, when do you know that somebody? Like, whenever, what stands out to you oh, about okay. a couple where yeah. you're like, "This is my couple." How am I connecting with them? So, whenever we get an inquiry, we always try to set up a call. Um, and lately, we've actually been doing our calls together, which we feel is like much more it's much more better for our process because we can just look at each other. We actually like speak with looks. We don't have to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So it's nice when we're on the call and we can, you know, go, okay, yeah. Like I'm liking what we're hearing. Like, I think this is our, our, like our people. Um, But I think when we find that they're right for us, it's that they want to hand over VHS footage to us from their childhood or uh, old cell phone footage, or they're okay with us like interviewing their parents on the wedding day and they're, they really, they really like the connection part of our process of like really digging in deep and getting to know them, and they're okay with it. That's yeah. usually like how we know. They're and very... of course, if they're you know big into dancing and the party part of a wedding, and but they really connect to their to their friends and family. Like friends and family is very important to them. Um, the, I think the people who are more forthcoming with the information, it's not. How did you guys meet? And they're like, we met at school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. If what they're school? school <laughs> like, <laughs> can you fill in, like, more of the blanks? Like, if you ask a simple question like that and getting more of a response, having a conversation. One of our favorite calls. Oh, yeah. Who, do you know who I'm going to say? Mullet. Oh, that wasn't a call. Oh, that was a meeting. Was um, <laughs> we, we got on the phone. The groom answered and he went, Bob. And we both just started laughing and we were like, you're our people. Like, where do we send the contract? And it like he his name was Chuck. It wasn't Bob. So having this phone call where he just answers so silly and like we had a conversation and we weren't interviewed and we didn't interview them. We're just talking about life things and their relationship and 
our friendship and it's not necessarily like things about the timeline or they have how much you cost or you printed know. out the not questions to ask your videographer like those aren't typically our how many people. hours of coverage and what is the deliverable yep <laughs> do i get the raw footage like none of that like what we is can't, raw <laughs> what is raw footage like we want to be able to have a conversation and the easier yeah. that flows the more likely they are our clients since john had a really good question that i'm going to steal from him um and it <laughs> is this Great. you know since you have gone through your rebranding purpose purpose since you have gone through your rebranding process is it now a lot easier to have those like silly conversations it's a lot easier to have that stuff because it's people know what they're getting before they get on the phone with you 100 yeah. percent. yeah you have if you get past the the front page and you go to the contact page like i feel like <laughs> you, you kind of know what you're getting yourself yeah. into and then when you submit it our thank you page like throws confetti so it's like which is part of the you sign a contract we send you confetti it's it's just a continuation of that and then there's those little things throughout the process like you if you get that far <laughs> It is so You're seamless the the communication that you guys have from the it's it's so refreshing because we do a lot of mentor sessions and a lot of website reviews and branding reviews and like just to click over or just to see your brand the way you sign your emails the white like everything flows and it's all intentional and well thought out and I knew the answer to that question that I wrote that Nick stole about <clears throat> it being easier now because. The more that you have defined that, I love what you said about if they make it past your homepage. And I think the opposite is what most people think. They're just like, how can I ap appeal to everyone? How can I make sure that everyone wants to contact me and I can get 10 million inquiries? And it's like, how many weddings do people want to book? Like even the the big, I mean, uh, big companies that are a few hundred weddings. And it's like, there are 10,000 weddings a year in Tulsa. Like there's, there's so many weddings and there's so many. And so your job and what you've done is you've really learned who you are. You've really dug deep to understand what you love, what you don't love. And then you've taken it another level by creating this incredible experience on your website and your <clears throat> communication. And then whenever people do contact you, like you've made it, Everybody who doesn't like there's there's probably the majority of the people are like, oh, that's that's really cute, but or awesome or what? I don't want them at my wedding. Right. Which yeah. is like initially you're like, wait, I want everyone to like me or whatever. But it makes it so much easier. And I'm sure that your like the connection that you're having with the people that are booking you post rebrand is so incredibly different and worth mm -hmm. it. And how long has it been since like since you you said you released the new brand july july of last year is when it okay. was released so this is in the middle of the pandemic even and things like yeah. so it's really hard to, to to tell a lot of data but like by doing that and knowing who you are there's uh, this confidence about the two of you from the first moment we met you you knew exactly who you were and that is attractive to people they want to be around people that know who they are and it's funny, like the differences are what people are always like, I don't like the way my this is, or I don't like, and the differences when whenever you lean into them like that are actually the best things about people. And so like I would encourage the listeners that are out there, don't be afraid to really lean into what makes you different. Don't be afraid to, you know, do some soul searching and, and find out what's important to you. And your goal should be if they make it to the contact page, like if they can make it to the contact page, like I, I want to deter as many people uh, because it not only saves them from getting a videographer that, or filmmaker that they don't like that doesn't really jive with them, but it saves you the countless time of having to respond to inquiries and different things like that. So my question is, do you find that your booking percentage has gone way up since the rebrand? Like, are you are you seeing that yet or no? <clears throat> I think we're, I don't think the amount of inquiries that we've gotten has changed at all. I think it, they're it's better quality. quality. Um, and I think we're booking about the same, but the people that we're booking are so in line with like how we work and they're, they trust us and they like us because we've put ourselves out there the way that we have. We're so also not 
discounting our services to as much of an extent as we were before the rebrand. Um, And I think that just goes like, we spent a lot of money on our rebrand, so we feel that we need to value our worth more. And so the people who were like, hey, but could you like, could we take this and this and this out? And like, could you do it for $2,000? That's a hard no. Yeah. Um, (laughs) We've already made back what we spent on our website, so. Yeah, that's that's great. One thing that um, that is great, I, Nick. No, <laughs> that is great. That. <laughs> <laughs> you totally duck faced you, Nick. <laughs> one thing that I think maybe some people do, you know, they get their new website. They you know maybe get it professionally designed, and but they don't think about maybe. Um, how, how they're going to incorporate maybe the changes that they're going to make, like with pricing and, and you know, the change that, you know, because I, you know, I have seen websites where people had this price and they do their website. Their website looks fantastic, but then, you know, they, their most expensive package is $3,000, but they have a website that looks like a million bucks. And you're like, okay, what's, what's wrong here? Something, something isn't connecting, right? Or it's a surprise. People are like, oh, they only cost this much. I would have paid triple this based on their website but you know they they didn't change their prices so what was your strategy whenever you went through your rebrand and you were going to up update all this stuff were you really you know um, okay we need to charge more or do we you know charge more by just taking a bunch of stuff out of our package what what was kind of your how did you navigate that i think before the rebrand we were putting out our prices as they were, as they are now, and just like making these custom collections and not really charging them like what we were putting out there. But now we feel like since the rebrand, we we can do that and we should do that and we should stick to our prices. And that there's a lot of power in that. And it feels good to like put yourself out there and then know that like we are worth this. You know, we dug deep. We've, you know, we've done the work. Yeah. (laughs) And it, it's it's a lot and it takes a lot of faith to not like pedal back back pedal pedal back pedal back but back pedal back pedal you know what i mean pedal back. it takes a lot <laughs> pedal back. i don't ride bikes i ride horses you know, like, <laughs> it takes a lot of faith in your process right um to not have someone be like can we do that i like i can do I can do 5,000, is that okay? And in that case, like you really need to give us a lot if you're trying to get a deal of some kind. And it's not just you getting a deal and us coming for a deal. You're getting a deal and then we're coming because you're supplying us with all the old footage, you're supplying us with cell phone footage, you're supplying us with the extra time that we need to create something so specifically and uniquely the couple. Mm -hmm. So you said something that always piques my interest when you start talking about numbers. You said you've already recoup, you've already recouped, you know, the the investment, and that was going to be kind of where I wanted to point this towards with people and why it's practically a great idea to be really thinking about your branding, who you are, um, what were you charging before the rebrand, what did you pay for your rebranding, and what are you seeing now? Oh, she was <clears> me. <throat> Um, so before the rebrand, um, for just video, our average package was like 45. Um, that was like base. That was like nothing in it. Just hours, six hours and a a feature that was three to five minutes long. Um, and then for photo video, it was 68 and that was eight hours worth of coverage. And on a day like that, Felicia's the videographer. I'm the photographer. I also switch to video when needed and she switches to photo when needed. So it's like a whole, it's a lot. Yeah. Since the rebrand, our average booking price is about 68, between 68 and 8,000. But then we have those like, now we're charging for add-ons. So if you want a reception dance edit, if you want a bloopers, if you want a ceremony toasts, all of those things. So it's the upselling that's, that's getting us now. And people are really into our blooper reels. So yeah, that that. sounds totally on brand. (laughs) Yeah. If I can make blooper reels all day. Oh, that's the dream. (laughs) So you were charging that. Now you're charging this. Um, roughly, you know, we're, when we're talking about rebranding, you hired professionals. What did that cost you? And what do you mean by you've already, like, made up the cost for that? 
<coughs> so between um, hiring Jordan and the web developer, it was... And Danny. Oh, and the copywriter too, yeah. Um, I would say like j- maybe a, almost 11000 mm-hmm. with everything. Um, and we just booked a travel wedding in October um, for 10k. So, like, we're stoked. And it's just one service, which is like service, a lot for yeah. us. It's yeah. a big win for us. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, that's a lot for anyone. That's yeah, a lot of moolah. And we're doing like weekend coverage, and it's just going to be they're they're just so into what we're going to provide for them. Like, we're so stoked. Yeah. So just and that, that be- one. Just that one wedding. Yeah, the the idea that you're doing that wedding, and I can already just tell that your your heart is totally there. Like you're going to create more impressive art by doing that. You're going to have a stronger connection because those are your people. They understand the value mm-hmm. that you bring, and there's this like electricity that happens. There's this. It just I want to serve them so much because because of the the relationship, and the more that I've you know, over the years, you, you know, as you said, it just takes time to know what you want to be shooting or who you want to be working with. But once you land some of those clients, it really is addicting to be like, I want more people that are like this. And it's this upward spiral. Every year it gets better and better. You're able to charge more and more. You know who your client is more and more and your work gets better and better, which causes more people to want to work with you and your, your name gets out there more. And it's, really it really is exciting as a business owner like that's the most fun part whenever you can mix the business with the creative landing your ideal you know couples your ideal clients at the same time raising your prices and making a big difference that's all Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) i think a lot of how we've gotten to this like ideal (coughs) client is we decompress after every single session photo video if it's just a family session, whatever that might be, like we always take the good with the bad. There's always a learning experience from every single thing you do. So it's, it's, yeah, we do highs and lows every time we finish something and finding that, like, I really loved this one thing, even if it was a terrible day and nothing went right, there's always something you can pull from it. So pulling all of those little bits. Or vice versa, too. If yeah. like it was a really good day and you're, you're like, digging for something, at yeah. least you can, like, talk about it and, and you know, figure out what works and what doesn't for the next wedding. Yeah. I, nice. think, I think that's really good advice to, um, you know, constantly be asking and searching and figuring out what was it about this that worked. And so many of us, you know, we'll, we find a couple we really liked, but we don't answer those questions right away. So after a couple months, we go, oh, what was it about, you know, Jessica and Steve that we were, what was it? But you can't pinpoint it because you didn't do it right after. So I think that that's really mm-hmm. great advice to just, just pinpoint it. So um, we're, we're about out of time. You guys have been so awesome to hang out with us. We we're grateful that you took time out of your busy schedules to hang out with us. So if people want to see your awesome website or just follow along and, and get to know you guys a little bit, where where should they go? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a high five. <laughs> um, they can go to iheartcreative.co. Um, we are not a .com. Do not put that M in there. It will not take you to our website. <laughs> um, and then iheartcreativephoto on Instagram and iheartcreativefilms on Instagram we have two accounts because we don't like too much change yeah. and then Vimeo is something I think I might need to change yeah that. we need to change Vimeo so don't go there yet <laughs> respect <laughs> it's still I'm pretty sure it's still I hurt my groom so okay. that that okay. needs to change over a little bit yeah well Felicia and Maddie thank you guys so much yes Yes, oh, I have. She's got a finger up. People. I have a question she for does both have of a you. Up. Oh yeah, I have a question for you. If your brand was a song, what song would it be? Oh, that's too hard of a question to answer on the spot. Oh can I, no! Can I pray about it? If you, had a, if you had a song to represent your friendship between the two of you, what Our would it be? Friendship. Oh my gosh. Is that easier? Oh no. No, this Do is that's hear deep. Ours? I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, that. I would love to hear it, but Nick. Nick knows the answer. <laughs> Man, I, that's I, a really Nick, great what's question. The I, <clears throat> I, I don't know why, but my mind went to a Barry Manilow song. Not a specific <gasps> one. Okay. Just, just Barry. any Barry Manilow. But, but just to, to, to Barry Manilow. And I don't know why. 
Maybe because my parents love Barry Manilow, and that's <laughs> what I listened to growing up a lot. Okay, John, that's our relationship. My- <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> that's our relationship. I thought you were talking about Wild Oak Films. No, was- no, no. For Wild Oak Films, I so- would probably today where I'm at, I I would pick a Need to Breathe song. I don't know which one. You See, there's very a boring. On it. That's a very boring answer. I'm just a kidding. Boring that's person. a good. You're just kidding. It's a good. It, um, uh, so where my mind went first for my video production company uh, named Redeemed Productions, my John Bunn Films now, I guess so. But um, it, I initially was thinking of the Tim McGraw song "My Little Girl" because I'm so into the uh, like the relationship between a dad and her daughter. Mm-hmm. Nick is laughing at me. He's really um, covered in his face. <laughs> you jack um, wagon. Um, little boy, little boy lover um, is right where my mind went. Little kid lover is what they say on the office. He wanted to That's know. What I meant. That's what I meant. Um, <laughs> he wanted women to know where his priorities were. Little kid lover. But I'll get back to you on the answer to the question since Nick laughed at me. I'm but sorry. Good question. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. I would I would like to know, and I would like you to put it in the show notes. <laughs> Great. I'll have homework. <laughs> Do you want to know ours? Yes. Thank you for being a friend, Golden Girls <laughs> <laughs> theme song. Yeah, I feel that like makes it's sense. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah, that makes song. sense. That makes sense. I love I it. I feel like once you find your your brand song, it can really dictate a direction oh, for you. That yeah. is a, that is a really that is a really good question. I would like to give this more thought. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think both do. of our answers are bad, and I need to think this through for a while. But we'll come back I to will you. stand we'll by, John, group. that our relationship is a Barry Manilow song. I actually <laughs> I'm okay with that. I like that. I need to listen to Barry Manilow because I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, I mean, to a certain demographic, it's a, it's a good thing. <laughs> to people it's listening, they're probably like, who's voice. Barry Manilow? Oh, those young kids. <laughs> those young kids. <laughs> anyway. Well, Nick, yeah, if people are still listening, first of all, thank you for still being here. This is great that you're still I here. I love that this is our podcast, and I love that this is how we're doing our podcast with Maddie and Felicia. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks to the How to Film Weddings community for tuning in be sure to check these ladies out thank you guys so so much for being thank on our you. show thank you thank you felicia and maddie thank you so much for taking the time to be on the podcast today we really appreciate it. if you're listening at home before you turn this off we want you to head over to howtofilmweddings.com store and there you can pick up our email templates we have i don't know 40 something emails or so that will help you in your business all the way from initial client inquiry all the way to like one year anniversary emails so you automate it through your crm and then you don't have to think about it it's very very helpful you can pick that up at how to film weddings.com slash store john it has been great to hang out with you again as always and until next time we will see ya see you guys are you looking for a better way to deliver your wedding films to your couples look no further our friends over at wedflow provide the most flexible video delivery solution on the market wedflow is paper project with no large upfront cost or commitment and you can cancel any time Not only that, Wedflow offers a premium viewing experience for your couples. Accessible on mobile, tablet, desktop, as well as their very own suite of TV apps. Each project comes with 10 years hosting and an experience for your clients that will blow them away. Stop delivering your films the old-fashioned way and give your couples something to rave about. Head on over to howtofilmweddings.com slash Wedflow to check out Wedflow today.